Now you will see how to set up Google Authenticator on your Android phone and iPhone easily. Our YouTube subscribers like to make money on their phones using mobile apps such as Bybit where I currently have $93,000 and I earn more and more money every single day automatically here on Bybit Earn where I have $49,000 already. And for example Binance app that more than 130 million people from all parts of the world are using to make money every single day. But how do you make sure that your money is safe? If you are making for example thousands of dollars on your phone on Bybit app like I am doing? How do you make sure that somebody is not able to get into your account just with your password? That's where Google Authenticator comes into play. Google Authenticator increases your security. Let me show you an example how it works and then I will show you click by click how to set it up on your phone to make sure that your money is safe. Let me give you an example. Here is one money making app that our subscribers like to use as well. It's BitHit. If I click here open, this one also gives up to $5,500 in welcome rewards. But let's say I want to log into my account. I will click here log in this one applies by the way to all the apps where you are using Google Authenticator this is just a simple example you can see that I have filled out my login details email or mobile number and a password and next I will click here log in then I need to verify that I am not a robot and now you can see that they have sent a code to my email or mobile number and on top of that I need to put here Google Authenticator code so you know this here that even if somebody would know my password and perhaps my email address or phone number they still cannot get into my account with without knowing the Google Authenticator code. And now only when I have put both of these details, I'm able to log into my account by clicking here confirm. And then on top of that, I can also enable a touch ID to increase the security. And now I'm inside BitKit and I can also start making money on this app as well. In other words, when you are using Google Authenticator, in order for a hacker to get access to your funds, they would need to know your email address or phone number and password and Google Authenticator and perhaps even more details if you have added additional layers of security that I will reveal to you in this video. So how does this Google Authenticator works? First step is to download it into your Android or iPhone or any other smartphone that you are using. Second, you take your finger and you click here open. Before that, I want to make sure that you are using the right version of Google Authenticator because there may be scams. So make sure that it has millions of downloads. For example, here on Google Play Store or Android phones, there are more than 100 million downloads already so we can verify that this is the right version and now you see here on Google Authenticator that there is a timer on the right hand side and that timer is 30 seconds and it means that every 30 seconds a code on Google Authenticator changes. In the other words, if a hacker would need to log into your account, they would need to know the exact code at the exact time because each 30 seconds it changes. So in order for you to log in or hacker to log into your account, they would need to come here into your Google Authenticator and see the code in real time because all the time it's changing. And that timer makes it safer because if it wouldn't change, then hacker only needs to know it once and then they can log into your account but since it changes all the time they would need to know it real time and oftentimes if somebody wants to withdraw money from your account they need to know the Google Authenticator code in several occasions first when they log into your account second when they add whitelist addresses and third when they want to withdraw the money from the account so they may need to know it in three different occasions which makes it even safer for you but still I recommend that they could care of your phone so nobody else has a physical access on your phone or at least they cannot unlock it because if somebody has a physical access to your unlocked phone they may be able to access your email address your google authenticator and all of these things so make sure you don't give your unlocked phone to anyone and that's why i recommend that set up additional layers of security like whitelisting addresses as well or the safest way to hold your money is of course in your own bitcoin wallet because then even though somebody gets access to your phone they cannot get access to your money because you are holding them securely in your own wallet.
And now I will show you with the real life example how you can set up Google Authenticator yourself. But before that, I want to remind that if you want to start making money on your phone, like I and now YouTube subscribers are doing, make sure to grab my ultimate Bitcoin guide that I give for you as a free gift as my YouTube subscriber. You get up to thousands of dollars worth of bonuses, 20 apps to start making money on your phone right now, even as a complete beginner, worldwide following click by click tutorials. You get this as a free gift. You can see it here in the first comment of the video or if you click more you can at least see it here below in the links and resources so you can start earning money on your phone as well now let's set up google authenticator together whenever you go to a website that allows two-factor authentication i recommend that you enable it if you want to increase your security you will usually see something like fix two-factor authentication and you click right there this example is from envato website but it works in the same way on any other other website Binance, Bybit, Bitget, KuCoin or whatever money making app you are using. And now I will show the code here in the video but you should never show your code to somebody because then they would be able to get access to your account. What I will do here is that after recording this video I will delete the two-factor authentication and then I will set it up again. I only show this for the example purposes but you should never reveal the code or QR code to anybody because then they may be able to get access access to your account. So now you have two options. If you are on the phone, the easiest way is probably copy and paste this code. So what you would do, you would come here to plus sign and then you would click here enter a setup key. And then you could type here in this example envato and then you could copy and paste the key that I showed on the computer. Whatever the key is, then you will click here add and then you will be able to get your Google Authenticator codes. The second option that is probably easier if you have two devices, your computer and the phone or two phones is to scan this QR code. So then you will click here plus sign, then you will click here scan a QR code and then you will go to the computer and you will scan the code right here. So let's go right there. It takes it usually quite easily and now you can see the code right here and if you want to do any edits for this you can simply hold it with your finger and then here in the top you can click this one right here and you can rename it. So let's rename this for example Envato account or whatever you want. And now in order to finish this process here on Envato, we need to put the two-factor authentication code right here. And you need to do it within 30 seconds because you can see the timer. If you put an old code, then it doesn't go through. You need to make sure that it's the code that you see here in real time. Time. You can see that I have put the code right here. It's the same code that you can see here. We have around 15 seconds left. So then I click here enable two-factor authentication and you perhaps saw that it was successfully done. And next is important. Not every provider gives this by the way, but if they do give, here are backup codes. And let me read for you. These are important codes that you will require in order to log into your account should you not have access to an authenticator app. Print them and keep them safe. You can see a long list of numbers. So you can use any of these backup codes. In the other words, if you would lose your phone, then you can use these backup codes to get into your account without even having your Google Authenticator. You can, for example, print them and put them somewhere safe. But keep in mind that that also has some risks because if somebody gets access to your backup codes, they may be able to get into your account. So that's why you should not reveal them to anybody and you should remember what's the safest way to move forward for you. Then you can simply click here done and now the two-factor authentication is successfully enabled on my Envato account and now if I want to disable it you can simply click here two-factor authentication and then you can click disable first you need to put your password and then it was disabled surprisingly Envato didn't require any more than a password for disabling two-factor authentication but on many other accounts you need to put the two-factor authentication code on top of that in order to disable it or you need to have some other types of verification to make sure that it will be removed. But on Envato it was surprisingly easy to remove it. Now let's say that you are buying a new phone and you want to transfer all the Google Authenticator codes from your old phone to a new phone. How you can do this? You simply take your finger and then you will click these three dots on the top and then you can see here different options but if you want to transfer to another account you simply click here transfer account and here you can click export accounts 
and import accounts. So if you want to export from an old phone and import them to a new phone, what you will do is that on an old phone, you click here export accounts and on a new phone, you will click here import accounts. So then on an old phone, you will get a QR code on the screen. And then with the new phone, you will scan that QR code. And then all of those codes will be also on your new Phone. Now you might be wondering, if you are using Google Authenticator and you have all of these codes, what happens if you lose your phone? Do you completely lose access to all of those accounts that you have set it up with? And the answer is no, you don't lose access. There are at least three different ways how you can get access if you lose your phone. I have created a separate tutorial where I explain more of that. But let me give you three scenarios how you can do that. The first option is using the backup keys, the backup codes that I showed you. For example, on Envato, there was like 10 different backup codes. If you have any of those codes, you can simply use that one, get access to your account, then disable the Google Authenticator and then start it with the new one. The second option is to have a backup phone so you have for example your google authenticator on two or three different phones and then if you lose one of your phones you still have that backup phone however keep in mind that that also has some risks because what if somebody get access to your another phone and then they would have access to all those different google authenticator keys as well you always need to consider where you want to store that backup phone for example if you leave it on your phone and let's say your home burns down you may lose both of your phones and then if you store it in another location for example in a bank vault then what if somebody else some other human being gets access to your phone and they could start taking a look at those codes so you need to evaluate different options and then the third option usually the most time consuming one is contacting the provider for example if you have set up the google authenticator with binance or bybit or envato you usually need to contact them and then provide some sort of information about your account and they may be able to disable the authenticator but it usually takes several days sometimes even more than one week so I recommend that you don't end up in a situation where you have lost your phone and all of those codes and you don't have any backup. Now, if you want to get even more tips for your security and you want to make money on your phone like I and our YouTube subscribers are doing, I highly recommend that you download my 100% free gift for you. It's an ultimate Bitcoin guide that I will send into your inbox. You simply check out the first link in the description. You will land on this page. Then you will click the button right here and you will put your email and I will send this guide for 100% free for you. So you can also start earning money on your phone.